Now, Ernest Rutherford performed a very interesting experiment. He took some gold and hammered it into a very thin foil. You know, gold can be hammered into a very thin sheet. So, it was just about 1000 atoms thick. Then, he passed alpha particles over it. What are alpha particles? They are doubly charged helium particles. So, their molecular mass is 4 mu. Now, these alpha particles which are doubly charged helium ions when they were passing they were supposed to fall on the foil. Then he also understood that these alpha particles will move very fast. They are fast moving and whenever anything moves very fast lot of energy is produced. So, these particles will move very fast and they will produce lot of energy. Now, he expected that when they will go and strike the foil naturally they will deflect back, they will, they will be rebound. But because helium particles are very heavy this deflection will be negligible because they are much heavier than proton. When a heavy thing strikes a comparatively lighter thing the impact is not much. For example, if you throw stones on a wall, brick wall, what will happen? At the most a little of whitewash will get scrapped. It will not happen as if everything will come back. But what he observed was totally different. What he saw that when these alpha particles hit the foil, then some of the rays just pass straight. But some came back, there was a deflection. So, you can write observations like this, number 1, most of the rays went straight, which means they did not meet any obstacle, they could just pass. Some deflected, but the deflected rays were very few. From this he concluded that first thing is that some why did they deflect? You know alpha particles are positively charged. That means they must have met with a positive charge that is why they deflected. So, from this one conclusion can be that there is a positive charge in the atom. Now, because the number of rays that deflected are very few that means this positive charge is limited to a very small size. Positive charge small in size. Now, why most of them went straight? That means, at that point there were no, there was nothing solid there, there were gaps. There was a positively charged center and there was negative charges in probably orbits. Now, if these orbits are circular and they are moving then it cannot be stable because whenever anything move, keeps moving in circle it will ad ultimately end up in the center. So, the atom will finish, but that does not happen. So, which means the energy level in these circles is not as much as we think it can be. Now, from this we came to know initially we only thought that atom has a negatively charged part particle. Then we came to know there is something positive also. So, it also has a positive particle. The negative particles were called electrons and the positive were called protons. 